Watching sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll call it on golden. Golden, golden name. Hi there, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm sat here rocking in the rocking chair, so I'm sorry if I make you feel seasick, but it's just so soothing. I am so happy I bought this rocking chair when I did my son's nursery. It's like the best thing ever. We didn't use it for about six months and now it's just like, it's in its era and it's just the best thing. It's the most soothing start to the day and such a cozy end to the evening as well. Like, oh, I just love it so much. I thought I would bring you along for a bit of a week in the life today, um, just picking up the camera on different days and showing you bits and bobs. I just thought that might be a really nice different style of video rather than doing sort of like a full day in the life and just, yeah, just bringing you along and seeing what we get up to, different homemaking jobs, just different bits um, and hopefully it turns into a really lovely vlog. We'll see. You can let me know what you think down below. But today I'm focusing on the nursery it's got a bit out of hand. Um, I need to do some decluttering. He's gone into the next size of clothes, so I just wanna go through and make it all a lot easier. At the minute, it's just very stressful. More than half the clothes don't even fit, and so every day I'm just rummaging through, and if, you know, if you've got children, you'll know this yourself. They're always growing, and so one day something fits and the next day it doesn't, and one thing in particular that gets me down every day is vests, so I just need to do it needs to get done and hopefully if you need to do this as well I can inspire you to do the same. Um, so yeah I'm going to go through make a pile of decluttering, a pile of keeps and then hopefully his wardrobe will look better by the end of this and that will be another massive job ticked off my list. So hard to get in here to do this now that he's sleeping in this room because he's always in here and if he's not in here he's awake and I need to keep him occupied and he definitely wouldn't be happy like in his cot playing for the amount of time that this is going to take so oh my goodness. <laughs> what is it they say about cats and boxes? This is the box that I was going to use for decluttering and Rory's found it. Are you going to help me? Hey little Roo. You're gonna help me. Hi. Oh, that's nice. Here's the current reality of his nursery. It's not actually that bad, but it is quite messy. So we've got my clothes that need to go back up into the loft. When Dom gets a chance, I need to address this at some point, but at the minute he doesn't come out of his cot onto the floor in this room at all. So it's fine for now. I just need a longer extension lead so that it kind of works better. But this is a easy solution for now. I had more things I needed to plug in than I ever realised. And then I've just got some clothes to put away, reorganise all of this. <laughs> this is to keep him occupied in nappy changes because he's not a fan at the moment. Uh, how gorgeous is this? My amazing friend Hattie made it. So cute and so in, in keeping with his little safari nursery. <laughs> and then everything's safari as well. I just got these um, from my in-laws so I need to pop those in the washing machine and then this is just from this morning and just some other bits to pop away and then here's a little book collection um bookcase what's it called like a library I don't really know what I'm trying to say I just need to organize this because it's got a little bit out of hand now but other than that it's okay and then obviously in here oh boy oh boy yes this needs some attention you know when you start stuffing clothes in, that's when it's getting bad. So all the drawers just need to have a look through. He's gone into the next size clothes, so it's just turned to chaos. And the bottom there is stuff that I am hoping to keep. I just need to look through and make sure that it is all what I'm wanting to keep. And that needs to go into storage. And this is always a drawer full of stuff that's the next size, but it's a bit chaotic because I've like rummaged through trying to find something. So that is what's on the agenda for this afternoon. And I find this really helpful 
for dressing him at night time by Ergo Pouch. I got one of theirs brand new and it came with this which was really really handy especially in this weird weather we're having because I never know what to put him in at bedtime. We're very zoomed in now. <laughs> Okay, we're good. I've got a cup of peppermint tea and I'm ready to crack on with this. If you see my hair getting crazy throughout this video, postpartum hair growth is wild. Well, yeah, it's the regrowth. The loss was bad, but it's regrowing and I've basically got like a full on short fringe all the way around my hair. And when I was a kid, I used to say, oh, my wings are out. I have really curly hair naturally. And so my wings just used to flick out through the day and they're doing it again. And I feel like I'm just like having flashbacks to my childhood and like spraying hairspray and gel and like trying to slick them back. Yeah, not fun, not fun. But I feel like uh, it's just one of those things we just got to move through in life. Let's crack on. Um, oh, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I really don't want to do this, but I've decluttered my wardrobe, so it only feels right that I also declutter my little boys as well, so that we're all organised and we all fit into all the clothes that we own. Um, I don't want to let my clutter rule my life. I want to be the one who rules my life. This is still too hard. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Burn my mouth. That's the only problem with tea, isn't it? You have to actually wait for it to cool down. <laughs> Days like these last With one another With the feeling past Would you find out with me? That looks a lot better there are so many books in here and yet every day I think, oh, we need some more books. This is my favourite book that I've got so far. It's called When We're Ready. It's gorgeous. It's by someone on Instagram. And if you are someone who has breastfed or co-slept with your baby, this is the most beautiful book talking all about breastfeeding and just the journey that you go through. And I just think it's such a gorgeous little book. Um, and then the whole idea is we finish when we're ready. And I just really enjoyed that. Obviously, as you all know, we've just come to the end of our breastfeeding journey after sort of like seven months, I would say, of exclusively breastfeeding. And this has just been a really nice thing. It did make me cry at the ending. <laughs> it's just so lovely and just so sweet. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous book. So if you know anyone who is on a breastfeeding journey or the, a journey that's coming to an end, highly recommend this as a little gift. I actually got it for one of my friends as well. So bittersweet, definitely. <laughs> Feels like he's growing up so fast now and I can't quite keep up. And then this is another one my in-laws got in this one, Sky the Pufflin. I love this book, it's so cute. So if you see it, definitely pick that one up. So lovely. And then obviously the OGs. That's not my, so we've got That's Not My Piglet and we've got That's Not My Car. Very in, in keeping because Dom loves his racing cars and I know that my son's going to be exactly the same but we've got lots of lovely books. So nice that I can actually see them all properly now um, and get to them all when I need to. The doomed cupboard. I'm trying not to keep too much. I'm trying to be very picky about what I am keeping because obviously in the future we'd love to have another child but we don't know if that child is going to be a boy or a girl and some things are very boyish. He's worn so much more blue than I ever thought he was going to do but it suits him so much. So yeah, I'm going to just see. We'll have a look through and we'll go through it. Um, and the rest I'll just take to the charity shop so that someone else's child can enjoy and wear them the way that my son has. Oh my goodness, it just is a never-ending battle, isn't it? I'm going to stop complaining and crack on. <laughs> Your bags and played your cards. Some 
summer felt like autumn with the sun so bright and cold but snow began to fall and there's a light searching courage to get up again in an armful of a friend between walls we both know that looks miles and miles and miles better so I've got it going summery bits so all of his like short rompers he's got so many cute clothes and then I love him in dungarees so he's got loads of dungarees here and then moving on to his sleep suits I've kind of transitioned pretty much onto just zips they're so much easier now he's on the move uh, I do still have a few poppers I think I've got like two or three popper ones which is just enough now that we're going into summer and then I've got his winter woolies, which we kind of still need some days at the minute. Um, the weather's so variable at the minute. Long sleeves and then his little t-shirts. I find this the easiest method, obviously before it looked completely chaotic, but I kind of knew where everything was. So I have his trousers just laid down so I can just flick through and pick whatever colour I want. Shorts are the same, he's got quite a few pairs. And then at the back there, I've just put his vests. So these are a new addition to his wardrobe. He's not needed these before now, being a little winter, well, autumn winter baby. Then we've got his vest so as I said this is how I find it easier some of you might think this is horrendous and like to roll every single one but I really like to be able to see exactly what I'm looking at if it's rolled into a tiny little thing I know I just get it out rummage around and it just ends up in chaos anyway so I'd rather it was like this and then at least it's like half and half so long sleeves short sleeves and then gone through this again I've got rid of quite a few muslins I never really needed very big ones but I've just kept a few just in case they're nice now it's sunny to just throw over him if he's in the push chair these muslins were a godsend these were from Amazon and they're just like a long one and I've really liked them and they're super soft as well some winter woolies which obviously we don't need at the minute uh, but you never know he's got his little slippers down there as well summer hats they're just there and then his dribble bibs which are very much in need at the moment and then these are normal bibs that I've not needed to use that much because they don't absorb the same as these but I'm hoping at some point he will stop dribbling <laughs> he got his thirst tooth the other day so hopefully hopefully that will uh, sort things out and then went through his socks and managed to actually pair up quite a lot but I do have a few random strays so hopefully I'll find those in the wash so now I'm just gonna do this draw, oh my goodness, and then this chaotic mess down here as well. La 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 la, I'm smiling, what is happening? La 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 la, oh my God. There's my life, dressed every day. His well-known eyes makes me oh my God. How come I've never felt like this until his kiss? All done. We're extremely lucky and I've got lots of talented family and friends. So he's got some gorgeous jumpers in here, probably more for like autumn winter. Uh, some baby grows my mum got which have the little stickies on so you can walk around but that's the next size up. Some hats and my mum made this gorgeous cardigan for him. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. It's stunning. It's got little matching hat and little glove mitt thingies as well. How cute is that? And then just some dungarees that are far too long at the minute. I love dungarees though because they last so much longer. I guess you're getting in there then, are you? Honestly, this cat. You get where water can't, don't you? Hey, There we go. Right, next. Ugh. I think this is all to be decluttered though, if I'm honest. Oh, of course you're going in there. Honestly, decluttering with cats is something else. Oh my goodness. I'm looking through these and I'm finding things that he wore when he was tiny. And I'm feeling a bit emotional, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, no, stop. Okay, we've got to keep these. <sighs> okay, I think this is probably a keep pile looking at it actually. So that's good. That makes my life easier, although I don't think I'm going to keep these. All sorted. There's just his blanket, which says born in 2023, which when he's older, I'm going to put that like downstairs so he can have it on the sofa. So everything is looking better, way more organised. Oh, I just need to straighten these up actually. But yes, loads better. And then I've just got this little box. I say little. <laughs> I've got a box of stuff to keep, um, which is probably like mm, three to nine month clothes. So yeah, at least that's sorted. Then a big old pile of declutter. I'm pretty proud of myself for this one. It's clothes that didn't fit. I didn't like enjoy how they looked when they were on him. So for example, this is gorgeous, but it was so short in the leg. Uh, so I don't wanna have a rerun of that again in the future and then just things that I didn't feel like I gravitated towards as much. So that can go to a charity shop and his room is looking way better. <sighs> I'm glad that is done. creepy shed for the first time in a very long time I feel like for a while 
we were in here like every week and I've not been in here for ages. This has become Dom's domain very much. So in the last year, it is hot today. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to title this video like a typical British winter. It's like cooking is alive today after raining all day yesterday. I can't keep up. I'm getting whiplash, honestly. So I am going to be inside today. I'm going to paint the toy box that I got in one of my recent videos. Um, at the minute it's grey and I would like it to be white. So I'm going to paint that today. I've just come into the shed to try and find some supplies. Paintbrushes and all the works. I picked up the paint in my last video, I think it was, or like a few videos ago. So I've pretty much got everything I need, I think. Um, and then yeah, that's what I'm going to crack on with today. And then it can be drying and then all the toys can go in and that's just another job ticked off my mental load. I hate doing something and being like, yeah, 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 that's fine, I'll paint it. And then just like putting it off and off and off and off. And all the while the pressure. It, it pushes down on me and it's something so small. So I'm going to do that today while I've got a minute to be able to get that done. Um, and I thought I would yeah, share it because there's nothing more satisfying than a before and after. I'm too hot. I'm going to escape the shed and I'll see you back inside. <sighs> Why do I always set the tripod up and then try and speak to you all? <laughs> First job, empty the toy box so we can actually paint the toy box. There are a lot of toys in here. We have accumulated a lot over time. Whew, okay. laminated things so uh, we will massively in love with the finish of it. It's very like paintbrushy. Um, I think that was to be expected. I'm hoping once it's all done it just kind of looks nice. Um, I don't care if it's not perfect. I'm not going to do the inside of it. It does wipe off really really easy so I need to be careful and I'm not convinced that I'm going to go through all of this effort and it's going to chip really easy. So we'll see. I am kind of wishing I'd have just bought a white toy box now, but you know what? It's fine. All is well. <laughs> I thought it would be a fun project and I am not having very much fun. Uh, so I'm going to let this dry and then do a second coat and hope that, hope that it looks okay in the end. It's kind of got like that rustic look to it, which isn't quite the vibe that I like, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I've just got a feeling it's going to chip really easy as he's getting his toys in and out so 
we'll see, we'll see what happens next, I suppose. The sides have finished really nice and the top, it's just these bits are really hard to do with it being sort of all different ways so I don't know anyway, you live and you learn don't you? So it's the next day before I went to bed I just gave it another coat and I've just sanded it with 100 grit sandpaper on top because it was a bit bobbly and I'm really happy with how it's looking. I'm just going to go over and do like touch ups on bits that I think could do with some extra but I'm quite pleased with that. I think it's actually looking quite good so I just need to get some sealant or some wax for the top but that feels a lot better since being waxed um, and then I just need to go around and wipe all this off but it's water soluble so it should just wipe off hopefully really really happy with that how cozy does this little guy look i don't know what he did right in a past life but he did something right oh sorry did i wake you up oh darling you're so cute this is the finished project. It's taken me so long to film this outro clip that you've probably already seen this in my cleaning vlog if you watched that one last week, but really, really pleased with it. So yeah, I did put that, um, I did three coats and then I put on a coat of the wax. It was from the same brand and it's given it a really nice finish. It feels lovely. It felt really chalky before because obviously it's a chalk wax, but now there's no residue. And then this is the inside. I didn't paint the inside. It does need a wipe, but to be honest, I'm not too fussed about that. It would just come off there with a wet cloth. And then full disclosure, it has sort of peeled a little bit there. I think it was still a little bit wet here and here. And then as I've closed the lid, it's like, it's like stuck to it and peeled it off, but we've not had any other issues anywhere else so far. <laughs> Hi. And we've got a lot of toys in and out, so really happy with it, really, really happy. And then on the front, if you can see, it's kind of given it a bit of texture. Before it was just sort of flat laminate wood, and now it's sort of got like brush strokes, so it makes it look like it's got... <laughs> Would you like some attention, darling? <laughs> it's got like wooden a wooden effect now which is quite nice so all in all I think this cost me less than 50 pounds and I've got a massive tub of paint and the wax to do for future projects so that's turned out to be a real bargain and this thing itself only cost 20 pounds so a fun little project to do and actually really happy with how it looks in the end so really pleased with that and hopefully that's inspired any of you out there who also want to do a bit of upcycling it can sometimes work out cheaper but where you save money, you often spend time. So that's just something to keep in mind. Hi. <laughs> You've got no spatial awareness, Rory. <laughs> really really pleased with how that has turned out and really happy that I was able to bring you along for a couple of days in my life. I just thought it might be nice to just share a few little glimpses behind the scenes rather than it always being like a fully focused or you know day in the lifestyle video. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you did and I'll definitely make more of these in the future. But yeah this video is getting rather long now after my big declutter. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it inspiring as well. I've still got so much much left to do to, woo, to declutter in my life so I'll definitely bring you along if I do do any more decluttering that was a lot of d's de -de -de -de. I'm gonna go because I am starting to make no sense whilst editing this video there's been so many times where I've just said the complete wrong word and I'm thinking come on gay you're eight months postpartum for goodness sake my brain is still not 100% we're still not fully functioning <laughs> I'm sure it will come in time and in the meantime you will all just get used to me talking nonsense I'm sure. 
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching if you've watched this far. Anyone who makes it to the end of the video, I am so grateful for you. So grateful for your continued love and support. You're amazing. And I am so grateful for you all every single day. Thank you for tuning in week in, week out. It really does mean a lot to me. I really, really hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.